Hey, YouTube Rando here. So we're sitting over here doing some videos for uh, Texas Gear Review, Texas Blades. And got me thinking about sleeping bags in my bug out bag. Um, now I've been kind of struggling with this for a while because any good sleeping bag you get is going to come with a compression sack. Uh, it's going to take up a lot of room. Uh, some of them actually weigh a lot. And the problem with a compression sack is, is over time... Uh, the materials that it's stuffed full of is going to break down. Uh, it's kind of like Kevlar. It has an, ex an expiration inside its compression sack. Uh, in fact, they tell you on most uh, sleeping bags, you're supposed to take them out of the compression sack <coughs> whenever you're uh, <clears throat> not using them. So the problem with that is, is if you're going to grab your bug out bag, uh, you have to actually compress down your sleeping bag and get it down into your bug out bag. Uh, so it takes up a lot of space and it's not convenient for a grab and go bag. Uh, so my, and I think a lot of people's uh, answer was these cheaper little Mylar blankets. You can get these for about two bucks. This is the SE. Uh, Coleman makes them. You get a bunch of cheap China ones. Uh, and we have a lot of these thrown in packs, uh, especially first aid packs. Uh, you know, just in case somebody was to go into shock, you can cover them with this and this would keep them warm. Um, or, you know, whatever, for whatever reason. Um, so, I wanted something a little bit better. So, about maybe six months after I started building my bag, I kept seeing these. These are the, the same company, it's SE. Uh, and this is actually an emergency sleeping bag, not just a Mylar blanket. It costs about twice as much. Probably about four or five bucks. Look how much more material you get. You definitely get twice the material. And these are pretty heavy duty. Um, not really heavy duty, but heavy duty enough you could at least use it a few times before you'd have to chunk it. Uh, and you could always fix it with duct tape or whatever as you're going. Uh, so eventually, I wanted something a little more permanent, something I could use uh, over a few times. And. We moved on to these uh, SOL bivvies. This is a one two person bivvy. One or two person bivvy. You can see there's two people in it. Uh, I don't know how big it is. We haven't tested it out or anything. I haven't actually opened it. Uh, these are about seven bucks, not super cheap. Uh, but it does come in a nice little resealable bag so you can keep it protected, uh, at least inside your pack. Uh, and supposedly they're a little bit more. Uh, heavy duty than the actual cheaper mylar blankets that you could pick up. Uh, I'm going to save the best for last. This is another uh, SOL bivy. This is the two person XL, I believe. Uh, I think it's a two person bivy. Uh, it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure whenever uh, this was purchased, it was purchased as a two person bivy. This is the $20 one. Um, not a whole lot thicker than the seven dollar one uh, it looks like it's a little bit bigger just by looking at the dimensions but this is 84 inches by 60 inches i want to say this is 50 inches or something like that not sure uh, but there's a big price difference and i think this one's supposed to be a little bit thicker mill like this one is one uh, that you could actually use over a few times uh, or actually more than a few times that's the one that you could probably use you know three or four times this is one that's reusable uh, and apparently if you just you know if you tear it put a piece of duct tape on it just like the other ones uh, you can keep going about your business and this one will work out it's also ultra light only 5.8 ounces uh, these things are pretty cool we're gonna do a review on this uh, and we're actually gonna open it up and take a look at it and make sure you can compress it back down into the little sack it comes in uh, and this one is probably my favorite. Uh, it's not the most expensive one. Uh, but I think it's the best bang for your buck. Uh, it is, I believe, a foot smaller than the two-person SOL. This one's only seven foot long. That one is eight foot long, I believe. Uh, but I think they're the same dimensions across. Let's see. yeah this one's eight foot this one's eight foot this one's seven foot so you're only getting a foot less material uh, but it's the same thickness I believe or this one's supposed to be a little bit thicker 
uh, and it's got the plastic made into the outside as well uh, so it's a little bit more tear resistant than these cheaper mylar bags you get and these aren't bad priced uh, i want to say they're the same as the sol bivy i might be mistaken about that don't quote me on it uh, but i think these little se uh, emergency sleeping bags are probably the best bang for your buck um, it would be one of these maybe we'll do a comparison video uh, this one's not actually mine this is my nephew's and uh, we'll get him to open it up one day and we'll do a video on it and show it and then we'll take this one out and we'll compare them both side by side and uh, see which one we actually like better but I really think I'm gonna like the SEL a lot better uh, just from reading the reviews uh, people were satisfied with this one whereas yeah, there was a lot of gripes about this one and the main one was um, I believe price for what you get out of this one and then the best one on the most reviews said you get the most bang for your buck out of the SE so uh, we'll definitely do a side by side comparison and I don't know if it's going to be over here or over on Texas Gear Reviews one or the other uh, so be looking out somewhere for it that's going to be it for this one thanks for watching YouTube